Thank you, Karen. Um, thanks for the great introduction to my groupies over here. I appreciate that. So, so what we're going to do tonight, we're going to do three patterns. We're going to talk about the three patterns, the L1 championship pattern, the select pattern, and the amateur pattern. With me tonight, over here against the wall, is my Montana cowgirl, Sarah Murray. So get, I'd like you to appreciate her tonight. So she, I just dumped her in the big stage, so um, I'm pretty proud that she's here. So how many L1 championship people do we have here tonight? Okay, quite a few. Okay, so one of the things that I do, and this is, this is um, uh, a little bit uh, repetitive because you hear it from everybody, but one of the things that you need to do when you get your pattern, first thing you need to do is read your pattern, every single uh, number, what it is. And, and what that means is, is those, the, the maneuver one, there's a score for maneuver one. Maneuver two, there's a box score, a maneuver and a penalty for that. So that's why you need to read your pattern because then you know where one maneuver ends, the other one starts. So that's what's, very, that's what's important. The second thing that I do is, is I look at the pattern and I go through it and I say to myself, what is my horse's strong suit? Is it the extended trot? Is it the lead change or whatever it is? And then I think to myself, that's what I'm going to work on. Um, and then the third thing I do is, is I look across the arena and I find my spots. You're, in most arenas, you're going to have a power pole. You're going to have markers for your reining markers or your cow horse markers or whatever it is, and you're going to try to find your spots. So, so what I'm going to have Sarah do, and she didn't get this pattern um, very soon, but this is the, um, the level one ranch riding pattern. So when you start this pattern, you're going to start roughly over here against this wall. Sarah, follow me. Kind of put your horse's butt right there at the Atacon sign. Okay, stop, just a second. Okay, now, so, she's gonna walk what I would do, and again, this is, this is rough, this is very rough, and it's nothing, it's just a guideline. I would walk to the first orange stripe and pick up an extended trot and you're going to extend the trot all the way around the corner I would say to the Atacuan select sign the first green sign come back to a regular trot and trot around the tree okay so go ahead and just do that and I'm going to correct you as you go Back to a regular trot, trot around that tree. Nice big circle just like that. Trot around the tree and go over to the rail and stand. Okay, so one of the things that I preach when I'm, when I'm um, teaching is stay, out, stay off the rail, stay off the rail. So she was a little bit too much off the rail. Okay, that's good. Stop a minute. Okay, that's good. She was a little bit too much off the rail. That's correct. That's correct. So, so when, when she did this line over here, she started her extended trot right about here, okay? I would have split the difference and been about this far off the rail. Okay, now then, so Sarah, come back over here, do your extended trot. Just come around here at extended trot where I am.
Keep going, there you go. That looks better, that's much better. She's still off the rail. Keep trotting that extended trot till you get to the green sign. Regular trot. Okay, now come around your tree. Come around your tree. All right, now then, when you come off of this tree, Sarah, get away from the fence a little bit and pick up your left lead. Turn, turn, pick up your left lead. At a girl, off the rail even more. Okay, extend around the corner. Come back up through here. Come across by me. Keep going across. Keep going. Change leads. That a girl. Okay, stop. Okay. All right, so we missed our marker, right? So that was a good thing that she did that because she's in the wrong place, right? So what she needs to do for this level one She's going to extend the loaf around here. Oh. This is very confusing. Comes up. She comes around here. Okay, so what you do is you're going to come around here, lope up through here, change leads, come around and do your square turn. So, extending the lope all the way around here. Come back. Change leads. Regular trot. Square corner. Square corner. Walk out towards your, and it's right in the center of your arena, you're walking right, tri, right straight down. So, again, so what you're going to do is, is you're going to find out where you think this pattern works the best. I would stop right about here, back up. Okay, Sarah, come down here. We're going to run this pattern again. So, at the half point, at the halfway point right there, you're going to extend the lope, come around here, okay? All right? Make a bend right there. Lope up through here. 
Change to the right lead, come around, come all the way down, go, go all the way up there by the classic equine, come all the way down over here, I would say to about this Bank of America sign. Start your trot. Come all the way over here. This is how it's drawn. Square turn. This is at a trot. Square turn. Trot. Spin and a half, walk out, stop and back. Okay? Now, one of the important things is how you position yourself on this tree. Stay away from this wall because your judges are sitting here. Don't hug this wall. Past halfway, extend, out a girl. Come around, keep extending, keep extend, turn, 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 keep extending, keep extending, come back, come back, change. This side of the tree, this side of the tree. Out a girl. Bank America sign, turn. Trot, regular trot, at a girl, trot straight, trot, 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 trot straight, straight, hold it. Okay, it's all right. Okay, so there you go. Keep trotting, there you go. So that's all pattern, it's however you want to, okay? You can come down farther, you can do whatever you wanted, okay? You turned the wrong direction, didn't you? Okay, you need to turn to the right. Walk out, stop and back. Okay, so that was kind of muddled because we didn't get this pattern earlier. So are there any questions? Is everybody confused? Yeah. When you come around and you're loping on your left knee and you get to the part where you extend and you're supposed to turn this corner tight and almost hit a diagonal from there to there, according to the way it's drawn. Yes. How tight do you think we should touch this fence? Because I know our judges sit here, but that is such a tight turn with that extended lope. So what the question is, is so here's this extended lope right here. And so we're, you're supposed to turn to the left and almost come at a diagonal. And how tight can you come to this wall? So what I would do is, is you know, I would, I would come off the wall about like right here and extend the lope. And as I'm coming down here, I would ride wide. Your judges are sitting there. You know, I'd come around here like this. And then come back up. See what I'm saying? I think that would give you enough room. I think that's plenty of room. Are there any more questions on this pattern? So your square, you know, it's, it's drawn, it's drawn where you come farther across the arena and make your square and then head back that way. The main, the important thing that I think for this pattern, the ending of it, is, is that when you make your square that you're lined up with the out gate. That's, that's how I read it. Any more level one questions? Huh?
Was there a question over here? Okay. So, um, you know, on, on the level one, this is a, in my opinion, this is a, a very um, wide open pattern. It's very easy to show your, your horse off. Nice extended trot. Really nice extended line around here. So the, the one thing that you need to do is, is like with her when I said keep riding, keep riding, keep extended. You need to keep your extension at least to almost halfway. Come back and then change. Don't just extend around the corner and then come back. Keep riding. All right? Okay, so now we're going to do the select pattern. So when you come in on the select pattern, you're going to come in on this side of the arena. You're going to walk in. You're going to do one, two, three, four square corners. So when you walk in, you're, the horse that has ended previously to you is going to be over there on the rail. So um, as soon as, as the judge waves the flag, you're going to come in. So what you're probably going to do is you're going to walk right straight over here, walk straight so you can get a good, nice, straight line. So this is about as far off as you want to go. Right about here I'd start my trot, my square corners, lope up. So Sarah now I'm going to have you do this because I know you know this pattern. <laughs> 